In this video, we're going to create a crypto trading bot that uses a triangular arbitrage strategy to attempt a profit off of price discrepancies between different coins and assets. Coigo Bots allows you to create and run trading bots on all major crypto exchanges with a number of pre-built strategies for day trading, such as arbitrage, grid trading, swing trading, and more. All strategies in Coigo Bots also have their source code fully available to view or modify, so you can know exactly what your trading bot is doing. Coigobots also runs entirely on your machine and not our servers. That means your exchange account credentials, aka your API keys, are only stored and encrypted on your machine. Coigo servers never have access to your accounts. Right now we're looking at the Coigobots homepage. We can see our list of trading bots that we've created or create new bots. We can see the list of strategies that we have available. Each trading bot uses a strategy to define its type of behavior. Or we could code our own custom trading bot with JavaScript using Coigo Fords. To get started with creating a triangular arbitrage trading bot, we're going to start going to My Strategies. Here we can see the list of all strategies that are currently available within Coigo Bots. We have a grid trading bot, a rebalancing bot, triangular arbitrage, inter-exchange arbitrage, market making, static midpoint swing trading, and more. But today we're going to focus on triangular arbitrage. So if we click on the strategy. On the left side, we can see a description of how this works with a detailed explanation. And on the right side, we can actually see the full source code that this trading bot is using. So if you ever want to understand how it's working, or if you even want to copy this and modify it and customize it for your own use, you're welcome to do that using Coigo Forge. So we're going to go ahead and create a bot with the triangular arbitrage strategy. All right, now we're configuring a new trading bot using the triangular arbitrage strategy. First, we're going to give the bot a name. I'll call it triangular arb trader. Now we select an execution interval. This is how, how often the trading bot is going to reanalyze market data and submit or manage orders accordingly. Now arbitrage threads might only exist for a second or even less. So ideally you want this to check as often as you can. I'm going to select 500 milliseconds. That means Twice every second, it's going to analyze order books and look for arbitrage spreads. For the exchange to use, I'm going to say Binance US today. And now we're going to select a common asset that order amounts will be valued in. We're going to select USD and we'll say the maximum order amount valued in the common asset USD is 1,000. That means the bot will try to not submit orders that are above approximately 1,000 US dollars. Now we select an execution strategy. This is how the bot will submit orders when a triangular arbitrage opportunity is found. So there are two categories here, parallel or sequential. And for each of those, you can kind of select within that. But for parallel, you're going to submit three orders at once. So a buy and two sells or two buys and a sell all at the same time. That means you're going to need balances in all three of those assets at the same time. Or you can submit orders sequentially, which means one after the other. That means you only need enough balance to buy the first order, and then once that's done, you'll buy again, and then you'll sell again. So parallel lets you react much faster because you're submitting three orders at once, but it means you need to hold all three assets. Sequential means you only need to hold one of the assets in your wallets, but it's a little bit slower, so there is a higher chance of missing out on the opportunity. Today, I'm going to say parallel limit orders. Now we can select the minimum percent overvalued to trade or to alert. This basically means how potentially profitable is, it, is this opportunity before you want the bot to submit orders. Now it needs to be at least greater than the sum of all your trading fees because if there's a 0.1% profit but your trading fees are 0.2%, you still lost. So we're going to say 0.5 for today. We can also set a different configuration for the bot to alert me. So say I'm only going to make a profit at 0.5 but I want the bot to alert me if it sees a spread over 0.3% profitability, just so I can keep an eye out. So that's 0.1 actually. And now we're going to select three different groups of trade pairs that the bot will monitor for triangular arbitrage spreads. So let's say BTC USD. We're going to look for spreads between Bitcoin, Ethereum, and USD. We'll do Bitcoin Link. And USD. And you'll notice that it's kind of helping me select valid choices here. So it says there are no options because 
you can't use this trading pair because there are no markets on Binance US with Ethereum as the quote asset after the hyphen here. So that doesn't work. So it'll try to help you pick valid options. All right, now we select an order submission cool off period. So this means after the bot submits any orders, it's gonna wait for a certain number of intervals before submitting orders again. This is both to avoid rate limiting issues and also to make sure that you don't submit a bunch of orders really rapidly when the market is changing quickly. Uh, maximum number of open orders is six and maximum number of orders per second will set to six. And here we can configure our trading fees, but I believe these are all correct for Binance US, 0.1% maker and taker fees. So finally, we can create our trading bot. And there we go. Now we have our triangular arbitrage trading bot. It's going to re-execute twice every second, running on Binance US with a maximum order amount of 1,000 US dollars, submitting three orders in parallel to Bitcoin Ethereum USD, Bitcoin Link USD, and Bitcoin LRC USD order paths. So now if we want to run this trading bot, we can go to run. And here we can set a little bit of configuration about this particular run. So we can say, let's run it for a max of four hours. We're going to start with test mode, which means paper trading. So this lets you run the trading bot without actually submitting real orders. So this lets you test different configurations and not have to worry about using real money. So. When it's in test mode, you can just give it a fake wallet balance for however much you want. We'll go to half Bitcoin, thousand bucks, and five Ethereum. Now we're gonna hit run and accept the disclaimer. All right, now the trading bot is starting. You'll see on the left side, we have updates about what the trading bot is doing. We have the balances of the bot and how they've changed over time. Over here, we'll see market feeds, which is any order book data that this bot is currently listening to, and then any orders that the bot has submitted. And if you want to see the configuration of this bot while it's running, we can just scroll right up here. We can see the full config, which strategy we picked, the max order amount, the exchange, all of the trading fees, or you can click here to see the full source code and description of the strategy as well. All right, now the bot is running. It's finished subscribing to real-time order book data. Now let's see, it's already executed 16 times to check for arbitrage spreads. So let's just go right here. Now we're on interval number 25. So we can see each time the bot is executing, it's gonna leave some information about what it's doing so we can see. So for this example in interval number 25, you can see group one, USD, BTC, ETH. There's two order paths buy Bitcoin with USD, buy Ethereum, and then sell Ethereum, or buy Ethereum, sell Ethereum for Bitcoin, and then sell Bitcoin back to USD. It's checking both of those order paths for triangular arbitrage spreads. And it tells you how it came to this order amount. It says the max order amount is $268 roughly before you incur slippage. It's going to avoid slippage as much as possible. And you can see right here the actual percent overvalued. So there currently is no profitable opportunity within these markets. And I see for group two and group three, you see the exact same thing. So we're looking at 25, but it's already on interval 136. It's, so it's checked 136 times for triangular arbitrage spreads already. And we're gonna go ahead and just stop this bot. All right, now we can go back to this bot's runs. Okay, so now we can see there's a history of the one time that we've run this bot. So we can see when it started ended, how many orders were submitted, why it was stopped. So it stopped because we clicked the stop this bot button. We can see the config of the bot when it was run. And we can see the balances, both starting and ending. Now if we want it, we can run it again. We can view the full activity logs of the last run so we could step through every interval and see exactly what it did. Or we could go configure it, maybe change the order pair, try a different execution strategy that's really up to you. All right, so we just created and ran a triangular arbitrage trading bot on the Binance US exchange using Coigo bots.
You can try Kogelbots for free today. We welcome you to sign up and good luck out there. Thank you.